And hello, everybody, welcome to the episode of the Unturned Podcast. I'm your host, Gucci Charles, and we're joined once again by the Knight Rider. Sus. Stas Wally. Wait, we're recording now, like... Yeah. Yes. And we have a special guest today, Will. Hello. Charles, you sound very disinterested. I feel... No, I'm just I'm just disappointed that Trending Games didn't show up today. Okay, now, let, let me give you some context of why I'm disappointed. So, we... Okay, I invited Will yesterday, right? To this, the the chat that we have for our guest to show up in, right? And basically, we record on um, on Saturdays instead of Sundays now, so there's no difference, right? It's just like a day apart. So Trina, with his infinite wisdom, on the day that I invite Will, calls us at twelve exactly in this time that we need to record, and on the dot calls us and tells us I'm recording today. <laughs> and it's Friday, bro. And we're like, bro, what? <laughs> we're like, I don't know what the hell you talking about. And then, like, I thought it was today. I'm like, no. And literally, and I'm mad now because he didn't show up at all the whole day. I haven't seen him all the whole day, and he's just not here anymore. I, I don't know where he is. I don't know where he is. So he might show up midway, but that's why I'm disappointed. But not disappointed at Will. Uh, hello, Will. Again. Hello. Now, Hi, Will. So what do you do? I uh. I run servers on Unturned. I also uh, stream on Twitch. I'm so sorry. Yeah, but what servers do yeah. you run? So, I own Udark RP, uh, better than Hypnotic. I, uh, I own Unturned Strike, which you see us going on Unturned. And I'm also working on another project, which is uh, Red Dead in Unturned. Are you guys, are you trying to make the audience feel bad for you? Yeah, it's, it's yeah. a painful, it's, it's painful. <laughs> Guys, everybody, send Will Lemons your thoughts and prayers. He owns you, Dark RP, bro. So when you when did you start playing Unturned? I started Unturned in like I think December 2018 on a really bad HP laptop, which had an i3, no integrated graphics or anything, of four gig of RAM. Oh my god, bro! <laughs> really? Oh, yeah, I started. I I played on that for a year and a half. On Untimed. Yeah. On modded servers as well. I own oh, servers no. on that. Oh, like, modded. it was... I, I played modded servers. I own servers while using that laptop. Everything, like... It was... Uh, it was an interesting experience. It's kind of funny, because I started out on a Mac uh, when playing Unturned. So, it was like a 2004 Mac computer. Yeah, was, that was an interesting time, too. I guess I kind of relate to that. Um, What made you want to get into server hosting? Like, as a whole... Oh, so, uh, the first server I ever owned was in March 2019, and, like, we played on a server owned by a guy called Icy, it was called Legic, and, uh, it was a server Elite Lupus used to record on, so, I was in one of Elite Lupus's videos, oh god, you don't want to find that, I'm, like, 12 in it, and I'm oh, an absolute no. squeaker, oh, no. it's so bad, and, uh, basically... We got kicked off that server, our entire group. It was like the police and military. The uh, like leader of it had a falling out with the owner, I see. And then we started our own uh, server. It was called, like, Dallas State RP or something. So we we owned that server, and I was, like, a head admin in it. I got fired, started at member, blah, blah, blah. And then I ended up owning it in the end. It was very... Mm. It was all up and down. I had um, fallings out with the co-owners, stuff like that. It was a big mess, but I ended out on top, so worked out. What do you mean you ended up on top? Like how? I mean, I I ended up being the uh, majority owner. I owned it for up until maybe I though it closed loads. It's in like it closed, opened all the time for like an entire two year span, and then I fully just ended it. Uh, July, uh, twenty twenty one when I opened Udark RP. So what made you want to start Udark RP? Oh, that's a story. The other Dark RP server, Unturned Dark RP, um, we were playing on that. I played on that since 2019. It hadn't really received any updates, and I didn't like it after they added uh, $40 armor, which uh, was one damage to the chest with the best gun. So that, that was a bit interesting. Mm -hmm. And then uh, my friend Authentic, my community manager, ended up getting banned on that. Because we were having like a war with another group, and the the other group they were fine with it. We we were chill, we were enjoying it, and we were actually having fun, which was really hard to do on that server. And then they ended up banning us, so we were like, 
I was talking to uh, one of my friends, Longlegs, and I was like, why not we make a server of our own that's like the old Udark RP, like the other Dark RP, in 2019 when it was actually half decent. And then that gave me the idea to actually start it. And I never thought it would go anywhere, but it ended up being my most uh, successful server. So why is it called Dark RP when it is not dark and nobody dark. RPs? You dark. you dark RP. Like, come on. Same, See, same thing. I want, in the early days of it, like September to October, there was a lot more RP because it was a smaller community. It was easier to control. But then since December, December 2021 was when we added uh, crypto. That was when okay. um, Paradox's crypto was brand new and it took our server off. As in like, we went from like an average of 24 to like 70 daily. And then January and February... Those were the best months, as in, like, I think our maximum players was 98 at one point. Which, wow. is, uh, which is better than the other Dark RP. And then, so, go off. Go they're off. still around, yeah. Uh, they don't like me very much at all. What did you do? Started a rival server. The funny uh, thing is about <laughs> that. They, their members don't understand, like, very much. Like, they think my server's a direct copy of theirs. But I don't think you can really call something, like, our server a copy when we have a lot of custom mods, custom plugins, stuff like that, when most of their stuff is just bought off, say, Imperial. True. Along with that, they don't, like, I don't think their members really know how that server was started. Their server is a direct copy of another server. They, you know Paradox, the uh, plugin man? Yeah. Uh, yeah they yeah. stole oh, his yeah, server. Yeah. True, what? true. I, 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 t I talked to Paradox about this in the past. Uh, Paradox owned a Dark RP server in 2018. And Luna, the owner of the Dark RP that we're talking about now, our rival, they, didn't, they wanted to partnership with um, Paradox. And Paradox didn't want to. And then, you know what Luna decided to do? Decided to steal the map, NPCs, plugins, everything, along with all his community, and led his server to die. So I don't think anyone um, in their dark RP can call my server a copy when it evidently isn't. When okay. that server is a copy. Yeah, all right, like you're calling them out, bro. We're about to. We're about I am to calling them out. <laughs> are we gonna get a? Are we gonna get a cease and desist, Charles? Yeah, yeah, the the Charles is owns the podcast, not me. Email him if you're upset. No, uh, the funny thing is about that. I think about uh, I, I was talking about. I was making a song. Uh, I'm still working on this parody song. Oh my I was god! About the regular play, uh, regular players and how like the dumb shit that's happened to regular players. But then on the other hand, there's like, it's like the it's like kingdoms, right? Like you know, let's let's just like say that for quick. Like servers are kind of like kingdoms, and in the kingdoms, dumb shit happens in them, right? But ki there's ki other kingdoms in under the entire world, which is the unturned server stage, right? And basically, you have the more dumb shit like that that happens. That is an uh, extremely convoluted comparison. No, Kingdom's a server. The server is inside, is the people inside. And it's yeah. just the same shit. What do you mean? You mean it's not convoluted? It's not convoluted whatsoever. Anyways, no. Will, you are British, right? Yes. <laughs> yes, hey. I am. Do you own a knife? Um, I own a kitchen knife. You and need a license many... for it. Genuinely surprised. I don't believe you. When does your license expire? You don't believe me. You don't believe my kitchen has a knife. No, I, I don't. I don't believe <laughs> that you only know, <laughs> that you only possess a kitchen knife. I don't need a knife where I am. I'll be honest oh, with you. Oh, I see. Well, I I wouldn't. I hell no. I wouldn't go walk around at night where I am. It's not South London though, where you have a hundred percent chance to get shivved up. But you mm. most likely have the uh, chance to get hassled by uh, beggars, so still wouldn't choose to go out at night. Yeah, still not a good idea to uh, have a, a knife. <laughs> yeah, I don't think having a knife uh, is, is a very good idea. Pretty she... sure you probably get uh, picked up by the Rosas if you do that. Literally 1984. Anyways, no Anyways. Will... <clears throat> let's talk about Unturned Game Night. Unturned Game Night, oh. Um, yes. Antics doesn't know how to set up plugins. This is correct. This he is put correct. the this libraries is into the plugins folder. That was, uh, that was something. 
And he wondered why I didn't want. Folder. He put the libraries into the plugins folder, bro. What? And he he was like, it didn't work. He was so confused why the plugin wasn't working. And I fixed it in two minutes. It was. Is it, is it, it was just interesting. Like, thank you, Will. Like, thank file you. Will. You have to put in and just sets up in the actual plugins file itself. Uh, it was quite, no, he put the libraries, the libraries and the plugins go in two separate folders, but he put the libraries into the plugins folder, which oh. wasn't very good, so the plugin didn't have the correct libraries to actually run. What a silly goose. Wow. How silly. And How antics, silly. you're silly. You hear that, antics? You're silly, but... What do you think about an intern game night as a concept, Will? Are you excited oh. for it? As a concept, chilling? I had the same concept a while back. I was going to call it Unturned Olympics with uh, the Olympics spelled with a U, right? I spoke to oh. Z-Man about this because um, I thought it would be a good idea, but I wanted to do it like way after I'd finished like, a lot of my other projects because this was when mm -hmm. I was working on like uh, P9's Rust Hand and... Disgusting. Just kidding. Yeah. Kidding. Oh, it is, but... Um, and like Udark RP, and like I was working on Untanned Strike like properly at that point, which I mm -hmm. still am, but I'm waiting to hear back from a from a mod dev. So uh Jacob, if you're watching, return my DMs. <laughs> oh man. Call him out. Were, yeah, I'm excited for Unturned Game Night. I just wish he I mean, would. How like... many times are you gonna bring this name up in this one interview? Game. <laughs> I'm so excited for Unturned Game Night. Unturned I'm game so night. excited for Unturned play. Game Night. Unturned yeah. Game I'm I'm so yes, thank you guys for the free game advertisements. Game thank you guys. Thank you guys. Where's anyway, my money? Subscribe. No, you're not getting any because you're being a dick. Oh my god. I'm not. I think Unturned Game Night is a cool like, concept though. Unturned Game Night came out like like five weeks ago, I think. Was it released? Oh god, it's been delayed so often. Yeah, it was, yeah, like it was meant to happen listen. when I was still on holiday. That was weeks ago. Antics doesn't know how to do this stuff. I barely know how to do this stuff. Okay, we're late. trying. It's we're trying. So much that I don't know when is it actually happening. I guess we, we say, uh, Blue with, uh, I've been day. delayed, I've been delayed, I've been delayed, gonna be delayed, so, I've uh, been delayed. I've been... So I'm making references in my, in my show mean, to no. a, a person yeah. that's way better no. than you. Yeah, no, but nobody I knows about not, that. No, but nobody knows about that. I think I'm gonna be on this be on the same level as him. Well, you were a part of honest. P9's Rust Turn, is that correct? Uh, yes, only for a few weeks, but yeah. Uh, yeah, we're not making quit? assumptions, like... Oh, what made just... me quit? Oh my god, the plugins? So, uh, I was working on it for a bit, getting all the basic plugins set up. I'd like to keep in mind, keep in mind, this server has been delayed since March. That's been when it was delayed, originally been meant delayed, to come out. I've been delayed, gonna be delayed. <laughs> exactly. <I've> been... <laughs> And basically, like, some of the plugins, there were two main plugins. They're both made by the same guy. It was a crafting plugin and a recycler plugin. And they're just so terrible to set up that I knew if I carried on anymore, I would have got burnt out. Like, you had to manually input everything. Like, you had to find the IDs of what to craft it with. You had to find what you actually need to craft it. You have to find a picture. You have to find all the IDs, the name the time it takes to craft it. Like, you have to find literally so much just for one single item, and it would take, like, maybe five to ten minutes just to do one item. And keep in mind, there's hundreds of items, and he wanted me to get it done in, like, a few weeks, which was, like, just an impossible asking. That wasn't P9. That was, only that, was, uh, that was rushed. Minutes. That was only 500 minutes, man. Like, come on. Wait, 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 wait. It was more than 500 minutes. They didn't use the you know, let's say, if there's hundreds of games. items, there's five, there's five, it's five minutes per item. Let's say there's 200 wait, wait, items, wait, okay? Well, That's well, a thousand well. minutes. So we do a thousand minutes divided by... Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Oh my god, Night Rider. That's like 16 hours, you could totally get that in a week, bro. Literally being the Night Emoji right now. More than 16. I keep in mind there's two plugins. Will, Will, what was that for? Was that for like, you need to be nearby a workbench for weapons to be made? Yeah. items to be made? Is that the reason? It was, some of it was a workbench. Some of it was just doing, you do slash craft and then you'd have the crafting thing come up. It was a well-made plugin, just... The uh, input and output just wasn't as optimal as it could be. I believe Rush is getting that fixed, though. I believe he's talking to the mod dev about that because it's not enjoyable to set up. It takes way too long, and anyone doing that for a long period of time will just get burnt out from doing the same repetitive task over and over and over oh, insane. days on end. Are we talking about the Rushed? Rushed, yes, I'm talking about Rushed. Bro, like, hmm. Rushed is fucking a guy who's been in the background for years. You just, you just don't know. 
Funny thing is, yeah, when I came into the scene. I, I knew about Rush, bro. Like it was like it was like early days of Unturned. Mm. He's been around for a while. Uh, Cut some slack. I, I know he's been doing like some dumb shit now, but trust me, he's been around for a while. I will yes, not indeed. cut him he's slack. I don't know when, bro. Yeah, he's been around. He literally was making Fallout RP servers back in the day. I think he was. Do you guys remember? He is that? an OG. I don't Fallout remember that now. That was servers? before me. The uh, Fallout dude. RP servers, Fallout yeah. RP. I owned a Fallout RP server at one point. I owned. Oh my god. Name a genre, and I've probably owned a server in it. I, I think it's goes. funny because. Well, Unturn would... off. Yes. Interesting. It's like yeah. Pokemon cards. He's collecting servers. He's collecting all the servers. I, I did Vietnam War RP, Modern War RP, World War Two, World War One. I. I did what a fuck it? ton. What is it with hey, all these weird RPs? Well. Why can't people make like zombie apocalypse RP? Did you have a zombie uh, apocalypse? <laughs> I did. I did game. survival RP. Did you have an American War RPs. of Independence okay. RP though? Like <laughs> That'd be interesting. Nelson Revolt RP. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> just has the like the default and like uh, we Nelson do setup, a and you guys after. have to go after like a boss that's just Nelson, but that insta kills you by the moment that it looks at you, so you can never win. And it's just like hundreds of people. Oh my god, Kiki, stop us. giving people ideas for free. Like African Bush War RP. Yes. African Bush white boy. War RP. My favorite white boy. Trident, no, is, a, Trident is Latino. Mm-hmm. How am I supposed to know that? Trident Games. He's not even talking. Yeah, what's your problem, Trident? You know what? Trident, you called it yesterday at the exact time that we were supposed to record today. Yeah. And you show up. 18 minutes late to the recording. Alright. <laughs> he acknowledged, he acknowledged wow, the, no the, gig, the Giga Chad response. Alright. G- catch me up to speed. This guy. Uh, catch you up to speed. Okay, we've been talking about Unturned Bet. We're, we've been we even uh, talk trash about talking. Not, not, not Unturned Bet. I'm sorry. I meant Unturned Game Night. Unturned Game Night. That's what I meant to say. Is Unturned Game Night a scam? We talked about. Unturned Game Night is 100% a scam. I'm sorry, Antics. I can no longer. Just just kill my family at this point. Just kill my family, Antics. I don't care anymore. I can't do this. Disgrace, Nate. Yeah, it's just like asking general questions for the most part. We talked about Rest Turn that P9 was setting up. I mean, that's about it for the most part. Yeah, it's I a very boring episode. We'll, we'll, we'll spice we'll. things up. No, no, I know. I, I'm trying to let me, let me talk, talk about one thing that was cool that Will did not too long ago. I think there's been a really dead scene right now, and ever since uh, the Unturn Pro League died because good <laughs> because uh, I forgot what was his name. Uh, I forgot his name. His name was something, oh, but everyone would oh. them to death because he said some weird shit to this this is one German girl that was pretty good at Unturned. Oh no! And but ever since ever since that uh, event kind of shut down, the uh, unturned tournaments uh, kind of dwindled as a whole. Uh, but recently, well, I mean recently, I think like like I think two months ago, you set up the CS:GO tournament with a five hundred dollar prize. Was that the was that the prize? I didn't even know what the prize was. Yeah. So I just did it. <laughs> yeah, so that's how what that's what made go? people join. Um. Is I don't it think true it went that badly. one of the teams called P9 to slurs? I wouldn't be surprised. P9 Unturned was up. on uh, one of the teams. Dude, he was... Bro, I don't care what anybody beat says. Them easily. I don't care what anybody says. P9 was on <laughs> Counter Terrorist, bro. Like, that, that does not count for anything. I know he was bragging about it on, like, Twitter. But he was CT. Like, you could just camp in a corner and wait for them to play. It's not that hard, man. Like, even when I was playing, I was playing fucking beautifully, and I still got, like, a 1.9 KDR. Like, and, and it was so AIDS. And he was CT, bro. I don't want to hear anything out of P9. He was camping quarters. The I watched that was... shit. He was That's CT. That's how you play a tactical competitive shooter, Charles. Dude, dude, but it, just, it was just so... The problem was, the problem was, with regular competitive CSGO, what I've seen, is you were able to switch teams after, like, the midway. The midway match, or like that was match. done in uh, later matches, but we didn't we didn't think about that in the first two rounds. We uh, did it in the later rounds. Yeah, exactly. So I would have got an actual happened, plugin for it. What happened was is that we were oh, just C- like whoever got the teams, whoever got CT, they literally just won the game. Like it was actually so AIDS. It, it's so it's so CT sided when it comes to uh, CSGO as a whole. But, uh, when it comes to unturned CSGO, not just CSGO, but, like, 
And if it, if it was switch CT, if we switched CT on our tournament, I would definitely would have won, bro. It was it was so easy. They were playing so so cowardly, bro. When I played, I agree with you that the CT were playing cowardly uh, for most of it. Yeah, CT was playing so cowardly, and I had to make the big dude. I had to like Will remember like I had like three games where I had to one v three, and I came up yeah. top like <laughs> all times, bro. It was crazy. I literally came down. I literally uh, first round, first round of the match. I killed two people with Desert Falcon in like the first three seconds, bro. I, like that's how goaded I was. I even added Will with that little clip. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that, that shit's just so CT sided, bro. It's actually annoying, but no, it was fun. I think what Unturned needs now, when it comes to, um, I, cause I get bored of just playing vanilla Unturned nowadays. But we need more like events. Like I was playing the other day with Stas and uh and Trident. I don't think Knight was there. No, Knight was Knight sucked. We were playing uh what? Red versus Blue. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, red versus blue. That oh, was, yeah, no, uh, I wasn't there. I was at work, bro. Come on. Yeah, you were at work. And we were Just get red better. Versus blue. And uh, I think I think like mini games again. Mini games are like the going to be the future of Unturned. That's why I'm I'm working on something like that in the future. But yeah, bro. Like literally, oh, it's like that's what that it, is. Leak okay, it, okay. Leak it. Leak it. Leak it. I can't leak, 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 leak mini games. That's but, that's but that's I will, a bit more than you gave me before. Eventually, I will talk. There is a Google Doc. Okay. There is That's three Google Docs. Sweetheart. Can, yeah, Google Docs? Can I join the Google Docs? Can I join the Google Docs? There's three Google Docs. Docs. No. with uh, Rick Sanchez portals, bro. <laughs> oh my, Rick Sanchez. I can't. Oh, I, I'm. Yeah, it's you over. It's nothing, over. Bro. You haven't seen nothing. I'll say that. You guys have not seen nothing. Trident Games joined and then left. He left. Bro. Are like four Google Docs, but I think we should just cut his part out. Nobody knows about those. Okay. But nobody knows about that. Yeah, nobody knows about that. Um, but yeah, like stuff like that. I think that's gonna be the future, but. That that was fun, Will. What what made you want to do a CS:GO tournament in the first place? Oh, so originally I'd I wanted to do a tournament for a while because I not really tournaments, but I'd held like a hundred player events in Minecraft before with some other YouTubers, and that was pretty fun. So I was like, I, I wanted to do one in Untarned, but I didn't know what to do it on, and that was when I recently acquired Untarned Strike, and I wanted a way to revive it at least for a bit. So I thought of the idea to do a tournament on that, and there needed to be a prize. I knew there needed to be a prize to actually draw people in. Originally, it was a $250 prize, but then someone ended up donating $250 towards the tournament to bring it up to $500, That's which so is pretty cool. cool. Yeah. Who, I think no, we have silence. We have silence who won? on the podcast. It's not good. Oh, Fred's the GG one. They were a Polish team, I believe. No fucking yeah. way. <laughs> yeah. They were really good. I bet you they were all like CT camping with 600 ping. No. Waiting to, they won more than ping. <laughs> That's how bad I am, bro. <laughs> they won better as terrorists, I can't lie. Because they were really good at pushing, but not as good as defending. I need to go watch back the tournament. Bro, the tournament's like, how long? Like, 16 hours long. Oh my god, it was the most painful thing like ever. Commentary analysis of every player. I I would, I would, I would have, I was gonna play. You would be the, you would be the person to do that. If okay. I won the first round, I would have made a whole like actual commentary on the actual gameplay that Will was able to see. Which I think Unturn should. I don't know what what Unturn should do, but something needs to be done about the the free cam or at least like the way that we set up. Like uh, visuals. I wish there was a way to spectate. Yeah, it would be so be much better. I don't know. I don't know how aids that would be to do, but like that's like I'll something it. that needs I mean, to be done for the future of like events and stuff. Yeah, I think it's possible, especially with how I'm like someone. Uh, Noah TV, uh, the Turkish YouTube, where like thirty thousand subscribers on YouTube. His Rustan server is insane. One of their developers, Faretin, has literally developed AIs in Unturned. Wait, like, wait, wait, what? He's developed mm -hmm. AIs in Unturned. I've heard How? I don't know, but he's insane at what he does, so... W what did the AIs do? They shoot. At players. Like, like, like they're, mov like they the move. Cult is from they're moving sentries. <laughs> Shut up, the cult. the cult is from I don't know, Elver, but still... Bro. It's... It's pretty impressive to have done in any case. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyone who can make AIs in a game is I. That's pretty impressive to do. Danny me too. <laughs> true. True. <laughs> Correct. I agree. 
the cultist from Elver. We just reached him. Elver. The amazing AI of amazing. that. No, I believe I've been seeing like a couple things, uh, like designs for guns and uh, Rust turned, and it looks pretty mm. nice. Is someone like actually working on like a really bigger one? I mean, like it looks like there's gonna be something coming up in the future with it, from what I've seen. But... Two days apparently. In two days, mm -hmm. a week max is when No TV's Rust turned will be releasing. Oh, I a see. week max. And I believe the same sort of systems are already integrated into Unturned, but in his Turkish server. But these are going to be the first, like, uh, Rustunned AIs on a uh, European server, which I think That's... is going to be pretty interesting to see. That is bonkers. I think I might need to try it out to see what the deal is with it, because, I, I mean... I I'm going to have to as well. I played Rustunned, like, the original one, when the first, like, kind of, hmm. like, I think the first year it was out, it was horrible, man. I mean, oh, like God. it was like I mean, it was like it was like fun, I guess. Like you just care about like killing people, but it was just like compared to Rust, it's just not the same. It's just not the same game. It's getting better and better, but I think it's still a long way from uh, Rust standard by far. I think the funny thing to be considered close. The funny thing is between the two games. This is one YouTuber. There's only this one YouTuber that I know that made their name on Rust and went over to play Rust turned on Unturned, and that was Mimio. And I was looking at the views on that video, and I realized that that's his fourth most viewed video on his YouTube channel, on a channel that mainly consists of Rust content. His fourth, hmm. his fourth largest video is the Rust turn video, which is kind of interesting to me that there is a bit of a market. So if it actually is good, uh, we might be able to pull some people from that Rust scene and bring it over to here, which is kind of funny because I also did something recently about that so sooner sooner or later there's gonna i feel like there's something gonna happen soon uh with content on unturned and it's gonna be something that we've never seen before i wonder who's in the lit like actually gonna be able to make it out alive or fall into obscurity <clears throat> yeah so it'll be interesting it'll be interesting to see the the new wave when that hits or well maybe never hit because unturned's cursed you know you know about the the cursed the curse of unturned right What's no, the curse you of just, Charles, you just make this stuff up as you go along. No, it's like a real thing. Every time any major like streamer or YouTuber like gets to play unturned or get show unturned to a large audience, somehow, somewhere, they either stop or something makes them stop. I'll give you the first example of this happening. Dan TDM back in twenty eighteen made his first ever that. unturned video. Uh, ever existing. I think it was called like uh, Minecraft with guns or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, he didn't even know how to like aim the gun. He literally just pressed left click to shoot. He didn't even know how to aim. That was so cringe, bro. To watch him play. He, he stayed like in Seattle, like the first part of Seattle, by the bridge, yeah. by Rain Bridge, for like the whole entire episode, and oh, stopped after bridge? that. Never like nearby it, nearby it, like the that side of yeah, the. Yeah, I, uh, I know a bridge where it rains. Okay, like shut up. But, <laughs> shut up, Stas. Shut up, Stas. But uh, he said, if you guys want more, uh, then you leave a li like a certain amount of likes, which I think that video does have that like goal, and it never, it never got another video by Dan, by Dan TDM. Hang him on Twitter. <laughs> I'm not DM. Say he likes his audience. Actually, you know what? He might play it again uh, if I tell him to. Maybe, maybe he might play it and be like, hey. Oh yeah, if you like tell him. Yeah, to you specifically. Yeah, I just tell yeah, him. You. I just tell him. I will, yeah. I will force him to play. I'll force. I'll figure out a way to force him to play. No one, no one's gonna tell him. Hey, can you play a turn again? No one's gonna do that, bro. Oh, There's another example. Person, Ruben Sim. Ruben Sim has not made another unturned video since the one Hello. he made with Arid. That, that Why do I know that name? Who's who is He's he? He's the guy that trolls people on Roblox. Okay, the next curse. I, oh, yeah. didn't he get like a lawsuit or something? Yep, on Roblox. Yeah, so I thought the next the next cursed uh, person that I remember from memory. I might I might be missing like two more beforehand. I feel like I am, but it was XQC. And when XQC, he was uh he was streaming right. He downloaded Unturned and he said, "I'm gonna be playing this game later tonight. Uh, I just need everyone to like wait a little bit." He played like this other party game. I forgot what the fuck it was called. And, like it's so forgettable. Like that game sucked so bad. And he got off of it and he loaded up Unturned. He's like, "Why does this game take so fucking long to the load up?" And he uh, looked through the server list. He went to the internet. He went to the server list. And the first guess what the first server that he joined? What was the first server you guys think he joined? Oh, P9 God, yes. the no. P9 is no. what? It was Unturn Off. <laughs> of course it was. Played, played That's the worst decision ever. 
and he joined on it and and it was funny because he waited like another like four minutes i'm just seeing the the things that he's downloading i'm like why does unturn off have the grease asset bundle <laughs> um, why do they have the grease asset bundle on on turn off like i'm so confused and i'm watching him load in he's just talking to his chat i'm like he's like i don't know what to expect from this game i just saw it on turn off and i'm like okay that's something familiar right he loads in and it's funny because it's like it's like it was like the beginning of a new era. Like I saw, it, it was it was so funny because I saw uh, MTN uh, uh, Rossi from Two R Games. He was he literally loaded in before uh, XQC did, and showed up and he had the Twitch shirt and everything. Which is he's one of the only people that really do have a Twitch shirt that still plays yeah. the game. And he had the Twitch shirt, his the uh, early access beret on, and he saluted he saluted XQC the moment that he joined in the in the lobby, right? I think there was like two other community members there. I think, I think even uh, Magic was there. Magic Magical Burrito, uh, and I think I forget who else was there. But there was a bunch of community members just waiting in that unturn turn off lobby. Like, Charles, I feel like you're just making this up. No, I this can't is, this is find a this video. You can, you can, I can't you can, you can, find this it. This is a real thing. That video is gone. That's lost media. It's only oh, it's only lost no, media. You, you can ask the people lost media. You can go ask okay, okay, MTN. Okay. You have no reason to lie. You can probably go ask the people who were involved or in the, the people that do remember. I think Danaby and Renaxon remember this. You can ask them too. But anyway, uh, literally, still feel and, like uh, you're making the it. The funny up. thing is, is that XQC ha- doesn't know anyway. But I'm like, oh my god, it's like a good portion of like the funny community. It's just there, right? He's looking around. He's like figuring out how to move, and then some guy just said, "Just says as loud as he can, can the N word." He says as loud as oh he can, and it picks up on audio. XQC Alt F four is the moment he hears it, and he, and then he, he's like getting told by his chat to delete the VOD. He's like, "Why?" He's like, "Why should I delete the VOD and let him win?" No, he just Alt F four is it, and he goes plays a different game. XQC never touched Unturned ever again after that day. It, I'd it, say it I'd agree curse, with you. The curse of unturned. No. Mm, um, eh, I, I don't know if it's really a curse. Like no, it's a curse, it's, bro. No, I, but I like think big every streamers. Time, no, every time that there's a point where a, a, someone from the outside that's considered the mainstream content creators mm, that yeah. come into unturned have either stopped or been stopped by by outside forces <laughs> that, that in this game. That, that I don't think. It, it, it's literally a curse, bro. Tell tell me one big YouTuber that's in the mainstream right now that's play that's played Unturned uh, more than once. You know, you know, it's funny because back in the day, you know, Tommy in it before he became anything he was today. Before he he even joined with uh uh with the Minecraft uh YouTubing scene, he used to play Unturned in Roblox. He like if you go back to like some of his older videos, you can see when he whenever he goes to his desktop, you can see Unturned is downloaded. On the main, uh, the main, uh, like on his like, on his apps, like applications, you can see on turns there. I think there was a video of him playing it back in like 20, 2018, 2017. Like, no, there's a there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people. <laughs> dude, dude, that would have been, that would have been a whole different. There was a whole different timeline that existed where Tom Minute became big in the unturned scene instead. You <laughs> can think about that real quick. <laughs> I, I don't. The thing is, while I'd agree with you, but becoming big in Unturned is, is like impossible? 100k <laughs> subscribers. Like, impossible. anything above 10k no, would be considered big. I don't think Any- that's true. Honestly, there's, there's anything only... above 7,000 is technically considered big. Like, when you think about it, because 7,000 is like the maximum amount like that plays multiplayer on Unturned. Most of the Unturned community plays single player. And then an even lower percentage of that's even English. Still refu- I, have, I still refuse I to believe it. that statistic. I still yeah. refuse no, no, I believe no, no, that statistic. It, well, it is. It I, is. No, I, I believe Will on this. Nope. I, no, nope. I believe that Will is correct on this. But you're missing an entire era of unturned. I'm not talking about maybe current. I think current is impossible right now. In the current current impossible. In the past, I'd agree but with you. The, it yeah, would be possible. I, w- I would say that, that the biggest person that ever existed in unturned was MLBB. He had 500k on the is. top before he left. 500k, think about that. He was a definitive unturned YouTuber at the time. Like mm. when it was like the prime time of unturned, I believe. Well, the ending of the prime. And he was on top yeah. of the whole entire scene. He literally was considered he was the considered the the unturned YouTuber, the guy that you would go to for updates. The guy like he got like millions of views on certain videos. I think his last video he did on unturned has a million views, right? Like literally 
I don't think it has a lot. I, I don't. I think Unturned has a lot of potential, but it just it just doesn't have a, currently a lot of players because it's in a kind of like a sus age right now. We're in the sus age. It has a lot of potential, but there isn't a lot of people who are actually like trying to innovate on that potential, basically. Yeah. It's, because it's, if it's, you think about it, Unturned and Roblox aren't. Okay, the, the only difference is that Unturned is horribly, horribly hard coded. That's that's the only difference. But you can import like any model to Unturned. I mean, there there is another difference. I mean, like I don't think Nelson would ever sue. Uh, you oh yeah, you... calling out the slime. Under, okay, under okay. <laughs> I'm not talking about that aspect. Like, Nobody knows about that aspect. Nobody knows about that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the fifth time. This is this is, this will be forever. If you get if you get what uh what we're saying, what we mean by that, please leave in the comments below a skull emoji with "I get it." That'd be great. <laughs> well, what would you say? Did you did you watch YouTube back in the day? Unturned YouTube back in the day or no? Yeah, that's how I found out about Unturned. Like I found out about Unturned in a complete fluke of circumstances. I would say. I remember I found out about it in like 2016, I'd say. That was when I was probably 10, 11. I don't know. Yeah, well, it was a while ago, right? And even younger, like eight. Um, And I never really... I, I watched like YouTube, of course, like anyone would. I watched whatever I, I would watch. But then I remember I never really watched Roblox videos ever. But then I remember one time I watched Roblox videos. All right, this is the one time I remember. And I ended up going on to something and it was on time. It was Elite Lupus. It was uh it was a border RP video. And that's how I found Unturned. And I never ever before watched Roblox videos. I I never watched Unturned videos. It was just by a complete fluke of circumstance that I found Unturned, because if I if I didn't find it then, I wouldn't have ever found it. I don't think. And then from that point on, I just watched Unturned content. And whenever I go to one of my friends' houses, I'd play it. Like I play Greece because that was the map that I uh, I chose to play. I don't think anyone chooses to really play Greece, but you chose to play Greece. I chose to play Greece. I was absolutely terrible at the game. Uh, I remember my house was made of birch on single player. But, I mean, I, I still enjoyed it. And then when I got that really terrible laptop that I talked about earlier, I, uh, I, I actually thought of not downloading Unturned because it didn't meet, meet the system requirements. And honestly, I'd be better off if I didn't. Um, but, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I'd say I'm glad I did download Unturned and decided to play it because I met a lot of amazing people on Unturned, I'd say. Oh, I know an amazing thing. Yeah, that, that's Wait, kind of one aspect of this game I love. It's it's not even about the game anymore. It's about exactly. the community. Yeah. I love the community. Except I my remember... Dark Up community. Oh, uh, I remember playing uh, Unturned back when... Okay, you know, for me, back when Elver came out, that was basically when I started existing. For you guys, that might have not been so long ago. Uh, but I remember when Elver came out, uh, I was on this one server. And uh, I think it was even slightly before that. Anyways, there was this one guy, Octaven. Are you? If you're watching this, you're a real one. Uh, I remember this guy. I, I think we were rivals on the server, but I like his nickname just like burned into my memory, basically. And then like a few months ago, I saw him follow me on Twitter, and I'm like, is this is this the same person? Like, this community is amazing. It's, like, not... Um, it's small enough that you can, like, find people exactly. around on that random yeah. servers. But at the same time, it's not as small as, like, I don't know, uh, like... Hunt on 2. I don't know. Yes, uh, like that. Like, like some, some really small, small game with, like, a couple of hundred yeah. players, maybe. I know if you, you know, what brain out is, but, yeah. Yeah, exactly. A community like that, one no one's heard of. Um, exactly. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great argument. You don't even know what that game is. So. Exactly. So it must have a small community. Yeah. And Turn is just amazing. It's I love like, Unturned. It's like a giant 
when it comes to gaming, like sort of the survival scene, it's it's a giant. Let's get real. Like Untrained's a pretty. Untrained is a giant. It's like what? the third most downloaded game on Steam. Yeah, it's a sleeping giant amongst it every is. other video that's made like other uh, every other game that's made content on, and like uh, it's kind of it's weird. It's kind of strange thing about how there's like always been like a small group of people on the background, the the inner community that exists. Uh, mm, exactly. Like, that's where we reside. This is where like kind of this podcast kind of resides too. But like, it's just funny to think about. Uh, it's kind of been uh, this small for a while, for a long time now. I, 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 I sometimes wonder when will the bubble burst, and when will it like everything be flooded, uh, and, and it won't be the same. <laughs> I Why am I on this cringe ass podcast? Right? Like, Why did, you while me? on Why the are you here? <laughs> Night Rider, okay, I got, I'm gonna make fun of the Night Rider real quick. Night Rider, oh, we were, I was promoting the other day uh, yeah, okay. this one streamer called uh, uh, K Maddie, right? Yeah. And immediately, Night Rider calls me up with trying games and says, "Why are you bringing people up? Why are you bring? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you bringing people?" It up? was Trident's idea. <laughs> you can't blame it on him. You can't blame it on him. You did it too. It was a joke. I'm glad you're bringing people up. I think that we should all bring up more people in the community personally. I think that we should all strive to lift each other up rather than tear people down. This guy's a liar. He's I know. This is not, I'm not lying. <laughs> this I is the truth. Charles, a, Charles, Charles has said so many lies and then ends it with, lie, I know bro. this you for a fact, I know me. this for you a fact. Me with no, it. I'm just saying in general, you have said so many things that are just flat out lies and then ended it with, I know this for a fact. Like, bro, a nobody fact. can trust, <laughs> okay, okay. Bro, I've been around for longer than you've existed, bro. <laughs> But nobody I am, ten nobody I am tendering. I am tendering my resignation as host of the uh, <laughs> podcast. Um, do, you, will, do you want to be the next? Do you want to be the next host? Will? Of course, I'll, I'll take we over. Told, from we already my, gave Nalex no like the next host. I just told Stas that he, he's up next. Nalex is the next host. What do you mean? Stop wait, 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 <laughs> wait. Let's let let's let True. me and Nalex be on the episode. No, <laughs> let's, we'll both be hosts. We'll both be hosts. Nalex asked for the host after his episode. I'll make your own podcast. <laughs> Why would I make my own podcast? I suck at this Talk one. Talk about to interview people about lore. Yeah, like, he did not animatic. Did, did you really do that? You did do that, didn't you? A you little did bit. that in the animatic episode. An I, I interviewed Nelson himself about unturned lore. Yeah, that's sus, man. <laughs> Okay, dude. I'll just say that's, that's something I love about Unturned is that you can literally email the developer of the game. And he will get back to you, like, you will. times yeah, I can. And it, it's just amazing to have that type of communication, like, with the actual developer. And I think that's, that's a great aspect of the game. I, I have think to Nelson, say. Nelson's, Nelson's like, a real one. It's he not is. like you have a chance that he'll respond to you. No, that no, is a it's fact. 100%. It's a fact. 100%. That is a fact. You can say he that, Charles. probably spends, like, two hours every day just checking his inbox. Exactly. It's funny like, without it's, fail. It's funny because, like, um, I remember when Yandere Dev was complaining that he got so many emails that he couldn't finish his oh, game. Oh God! Oh yeah. And I come, and I'm him, like, man, man, really? Are you complaining about this? I remember people were man. like the the stupid like they were making fun of uh, Yandere Dev with memes. Although to be honest, his emails are probably when's the game gonna be finished. So. Yeah, would it be that hard just to look at it and ignore it if it's the same thing though? Or just don't look at it. Yeah, like, you like, don't what? look at it. Though. Yeah, that's right. But Nelson's developing. About it. Nelson's developing two games at the same time. No, I mean, no, he's not. What what games? I mean, un okay, you you're, gonna, you're gonna forget Jolf? What? Jolf? Yeah, yeah Jolf. We love Jolf, bro. How did you? How, how could, you? could you forget Jolf, bro? Jolf is still I'm in so development. sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, that's stupid. <laughs> I think Unturned Unturned Two. I think when that eventually comes out, when we're all like um, seventy eight, at least our grandchildren yeah. will be able to enjoy it. What was that, Charles? Uh, what was that streamer girl? What was that girl's name? K Maddie. Okay, everybody what? go to Twitch and follow K Maddie. I think I think they're a pretty good streamer. Honestly, the funny thing is, I, whenever I'm bored, like I'm really bored. Like, like, I'm super bored, I don't know what to do. I, I go on Twitch, and I go look at the unturned section to go see... I do as well, yeah. Like, wh who's streaming? And usually you find, like, it's not like... Half of them are Spanish streamers, and the other half yeah. are English. The biggest one's like, Spanish one right now. Polish. There's one Polish like, guy. Just in there. Always, always no, that one always, Polish guy. No, there always is, I, I'm not lying. And uh, I go in, 
and I just see like uh, most of the streamers are like little kids, and there's never really a dedicated like unturned streamer, which is kind of interesting to think about. I think I don't think P9 streamed back in the day, did he? I don't think so. He did stream back in the day, but not unturned. Yeah, he, streams Val Val he streams Valorant sometimes. He streams uh he streams a load run games. But while I wouldn't say there's a main streamer, I'd say there are a few main streamers that when they stream on unturned, they would get like uh they get the most viewers. Like for instance, Real Snake, he actually managed oh, to yeah, grow yeah. off unturned and now has like one point one thousand followers or something, which I think is pretty impressive to like start on unturned and grow like still on unturned. Yeah, Real Snake was pretty good, but I think he disappeared recently. No, he's. No, I Did wouldn't he say back? so. He he still streams, but I don't think his streams are like as big as they were. But I mean, he didn't stream for a while, so it's understandable why they aren't as big as they used to be because he just let them die and fizzle out. I swear. Will, so, do you think that you could ever make a uh, Valorant turn? No, mod no. Server? no. I was thinking that. I was thinking that. No, actually. you weren't. No, yes, I was, no, because I, I have not. Windows 11 and I can't play Valorant, bro. Wow, why can't you? I have Windows 11 L, and I can't. L, L. L. Why you all, I have Windows why you all 11. Flexing I can play the. <laughs> I don't play it anymore. Why would you ever? Charles, upgrade why to are you? Why do you act like you're special because you don't like popular things? I don't like Valorant Riot isn't games. popular anymore. I don't okay. like Riot games. That's what I don't. No, like. no, I don't really care who developed the game. I don't, I don't like Tencent. I don't like Riot games. I don't like Epic games. I like Nelson Sexton. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> all right, all right, simp. All it's right. so no, funny. No, no, no. It's funny to think about I, because I, Nelson I, was I, talking with Epic games about stuff uh, for Unturn the Future, which is kind of funny back in the day, back in 2017. Yes. What were you saying, Stoss? Knight, why would you ever upgrade to Windows 11? It, I didn't choose to. I didn't care, really. PC. I don't care, really. It's literally really. called Windows L11. Like, it has L in the name, bro. Oh, you're so unfunny, bro. You're so not funny. There's, there's someone literally streaming uh, Easter I'm Island. I'm literally no. pointing Wait, someone's streaming that... Easter Island? <laughs> Tell them what? to stop. <laughs> or Hawaii. Okay, that's... I'm sorry, I cannot tell these apart. Yeah, <laughs> the power taker. That. Yeah, the power taker. Should tell we just them, all tell say them to I... get off of it? <laughs> well, we so... we need to see if it's Easter Island first. Is it Easter Island? Everyone, Hawaii, everyone, everyone go, go, go to the power taker. I'm on it, I'm on it. I was looking on Twitch. I'm watching, I'm watching. Bro, all Let's that, watch that's Hawaii, bro. That's Hawaii. And trying games is back. Bro. Sorry, I, I didn't play any of those maps. I can't tell them apart. I'm sorry. What do you mean I'm back, Charlie? Bruh. This is like literally the first time I'm here. Definitely. Listen, I'm I'm trying. I'm resigning from the podcast. I think you should too. Uh. uh I have a question for Will so Lemon that probably has been answered already. Oh my god, he's so happy. Trident, you need to go to this guy's Twitch. He's so happy. He's so happy. Follow him. He'll be so happy, bro. I don't know where he is. I can't make him happy. I don't have Twitch on my He's phone. He's so happy, man. Yeah. I don't have Twitch on my phone. I don't, I don't know what's going. I don't. Tell me context, bro. What do you mean he's so happy? Well, you so follow, happy. and he's really, you're, you're he's following. really happy when you follow, bro. I feel like he just screams or something. <laughs> he's so happy. He is. Oh my god. He is screaming. Oh he's my just screaming. god. He's, he's, I love this man. That is so wholesome. You know. Just give me a sec. Give me a sec. Well, what no, are you my on right now that's jeez, in bro. The future that will be I just, I just sub to him, bro. Bruh. Oh, <laughs> really? Oh my yeah, god! You did. Did. <laughs> I like how, I like how this is now becoming a. a you guys are just like trolling a. a I'm not game. trolling him. I just gave him money. Yeah, How's that trolling? Them, you trolled him with money. <laughs> I trolled him with you money. Ever the money jump money. scare. I don't think you ever had a money jump scare. Yeah. Stash, do you want to sub on him on his stream? Do you want to sub? I Dude, I <laughs> you guys are just, what is this, bro? I, Stop talking about this. Everyone, bring up small streamers. Bring up small streamers. Everybody, bring up small streamers. Small streamers. Guys, I have an email I got yesterday. You guys want me to read it? It was about the Unturned Podcast. Did you just gift me a sub? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bro, what you, stop, y'all. Stop. Get, get back on topic. Come on. Be concentrate, boys. Come on. 
He said, I think we're getting raided. He said, I think we're getting raided. Yeah, getting raided like by the Unturned Podcast. We want, we're still recording, bro. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, but this Charles, guy's Charles, Charles be like, bro. hey, you should bring people up, bro. Yeah, Charles, we're recording an app now, right now. Up, Charles, up to them. Also, Charles, when you try to bring people up, bro. Stas, why yeah. is that latest subscriber thing so blood? What? Look at the latest subscriber thing in the top left. It's so blood. It's so blood. It is so blood. He just said it's so blood. It's so blood. Okay, guys. guys. All right, can you guys shut up for a little bit? I got, so I got need to enunciate the R's, Will. Can you guys shut up? Can you guys shut up for a little bit, please? Love of God. No. I have, I have, I have, I have a, a email from a special a special person that sent to me. And okay. it was oh, about the I'd love to hear about this. It came out yesterday. And actually, I, I was like, I forgot what I was doing, but I was doing something. And I look and I was like, about to go to bed and I got this email. I was like, nah. I'm not reading it. So I'm going to read this on the Unturned Podcast right now. Hello, the Unturned Podcast. My name is Max Golf. I would prefer to be called Maximum Zombie than the enunciate how to say Maximum Zombie. AKA, probably the youngest Unturned player. uh, And I would love to be on, but I don't care if you don't allow me on. Best regards. And then they said their name. That is pretty wholesome. Their name, Max. You don't want the youngest unturned player? Like, that is a Guinness World Record. I, I'd How like to the point out... Like I've met nine-year-olds on unturned. Younger than so Guinness. Okay, okay, here's the, thing, here's the thing. Will is correct. I have met nine-year-olds that would destroy all of you in a match of PvP, bro. <laughs> yeah, I play RP servers. What do you expect, much. bro? No, trust Not me. No, don't there, there's there's like a kid. There's much, this one kid. I, 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 I'll tell you guys a story. This is one kid I met. His name was Paradox. He was nine years old. <laughs> and he was developing plugins, bro. Like he's working on Blackout right now. He, we, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Th- like I met this kid through this other guy. He's like, yo, you gotta, you gotta play with this kid. This kid's fucking goaded, right? We we play on a server. It was like a random PEI server, right? And we're we're showing up, and all he cares about is like, give me a Mabel strike, give me a Mabel strike, give me a Mabel strike. I don't care. Just give me a Mabel strike. I give him a Mabel strike, right? And we go to uh, the military base, and there's like a four man there, and he's like, ah, easy. Rolls all of them with ma- one magazine. <laughs> oh, no. No, it, ha- it, happened. it happened, bro. Evan. And we're and we're getting more ammo because we're gonna have no ammo, and we're getting more ammo from the the zombies and looting around. The this four man comes back with calling cards and night raiders, and we're in the we're in the tower at uh, meanwhile they're coming back. Man pops up for like two seconds, drops two of them, jumps off the tower because they're they're rushing into from the back side of the of the military base, and then and he just drops both of them. Uh, the other two guys, and then like we picked up all their shit, and they came back again, and then they came back with like more calling cards, and then uh, and then this is the funny part, one of them for uh forgot to put the slash in a command that they were saying, and it was I give. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. oh my god! It was give. It was like it was a calling card ID, and we what we did we were Bruh. getting <laughs> we were killing the admins, bro. <laughs> That's just Bro. embarrassing. But Ver- Veridax I've done that die. before. Veridax but... didn't die. Was even me. It was like, like he's like, quick man, quick accept. And they came back again with, after the fuck up. And then they're like, all right, we think Paradox is hacking. We gotta kick him off. And, and the funny thing is, I fought him too. He, he wasn't hacking. I, I, I saw him as skill. Even when he was actually really good, he was super good. He was really good. Wait, Charlie. Yeah. Is Paradox still in the unturned scene, or did he move on? He he left after a month of me meeting him. I th- he played like Dying Light for a little bit, and then he left completely. I, n- I haven't seen him online for a long time. It is. Do you think he's like a YouTuber? No. I've seen like people named Paradox, but probably not. No, uh, no. It's not I, a common I name. Know. It's, I think that it's is... a common name. Um, but that like, is, yeah, that is a yeah. Paradox story. is a common yeah, name. I love that. Yeah. I love so, that. but like, that was a that was a story. Uh, it was like me, one other friend of mine, and this kid. This kid rolled four admins to the point where they thought he was hacking, and they just banned him. And they banned all three of us, actually. And then we, uh, uh, that was a funny, funny experience. Imagine being that sad of a human being, bro. Not Paradox, the admins, bro. Like, dude, they, I don't know, man. This is like some L admins. That, that was some P9. It like, is really admin abuse. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would have been like an epic story. He's never going onto the P9, podcast. P9, I don't support this slander oh, against that's you, bro. That's not even slander, bro. He, he knows the, the abuse of admins. Liam, this game even knows the abuse of admins, bro. Admins yeah. aren't cool. I remember, so I, remember I, I wouldn't watching, say my admins. No one likes admins. Trident. What? 
Nothing. Do you guys not remember watching the live streams where Liam would go on servers and then the admins would just roll back all the progress that he made and all the shit that he did? Oh, you mean I that? I don't remember that. Now, that that shit happened know. to Liam like all the time. It was so it was so sad. And Liam, it was so listening, evil. You know the pain. I know your pain, man. <laughs> no, but um, oh, there's another story of this one kid. He was like 12 years old. He was not nine. He was 12. His name was like Human, and I met him on the server. And I, the, the funny part was is that he had like a sky base over Seattle. Uh, and, uh, I, I, I'll never forget this. Uh, he was teaming with, like, the best players on the server at that time. And he jumped down from the sky base and he went to go get some kid. He killed, like, one kid, but he didn't realize I was there. I killed him with a shovel and I got all of his shit. <laughs> a shovel? <laughs> yep, a shovel. Headshot, uh, dead. True, bro. And then I, I got all the, all of his shit and then, like, the other three guys jumped from the sky base. And I think they killed me. But I'll never forget, I killed him with a shovel. And he did see me. It was the funniest shit ever. True L. True L. <laughs> Yeah, that is just embarrassing. No, but that kid was honestly. Pretty good too. He, he, the funny thing is, he he would shit talk all the time, right? He, this kid would like this kid's like twelve. So think about like a twelve year old squeaker, right? Saying the most heinous shit and destroying everyone that he saw. <laughs> yeah, that's that's embarrassing. That's Can't scary. Lie. Yeah, it, it's embarrassing. It's sad, and it just makes you feel bad. <laughs> it, it, um, yeah, this is some funny shit. I don't I don't know. I've been playing a lot of like. PvP servers like that anymore because they don't really exist. I think now so, they're coming back. I saw some servers up recently. Okay, are we letting this guy on the podcast? Who? I forgot the name. Max? Paradox. No. They are the really on, long. Max, the really yeah. Said that you, I don't know, man. I, I said it was a one-time thing for Ranga. It was a one-time thing for Ranga. Probably never gonna happen. Will again. you will you upload a video of you breaking Discord TOS? Is the question. I think Zeman oh. has. Oh yeah, but Zeman, Zeman. All right, power like... <laughs> All right, so now that we're at the end, like, kind of like at the end of the podcast, I'm gonna ask you some some spicy questions. Oh, why did you what? unban Zeman every time that he did anything wrong on your? Server? So, I believe, like, I I create content myself, of course, and people like content creators need to be able to create content to like sustain a community, and like Zeman, he doesn't do anything. Like, he's not like literally driving players away if anything he's bringing me players like doug actually played on my server as a player like for months and i didn't even know it was doug at that point i i didn't know who he was so it's like it's beneficial it's beneficial for both of us he gets content i get some players like it doesn't drive anyone away people might be irritated for like five ten minutes but like z-man gets some content for his stream because he's banned from like every single other server and the thing is Imagine if I did perm him and, like... You have the monopoly on Zeman content just because he's banned everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> he, he wanted an unban. He, um, yeah, he, he did DM me um, asking why I banned him when I did... I did perm him saying, oh, you were a clown who lost my respect when he, um, when he like, did that uh, thing with his Discord. The and uh, that spam all thing. The oh, God. I can't believe yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's some shit. <laughs> he said he got hacked. He, he maintained no, he didn't. that. We all know the truth. No, yeah, he no, he fucking didn't. didn't. He did not get hacked. No way. No, but... he didn't. I think he can even go... Okay. He did it. There, there's so much proof saying that he, like, he didn't, but you can even go on our podcast and go back, and you can go listen to some of the shit that Z-Man said. If he was hacked, he's actually like completely fucked. There's like no way, no way he's coming back from that, because everything, all of his accounts have the same password. He's literally said this on our show. He's literally said that all of his accounts have the same password, and yeah. he does not care. And I know for a fact, Discord bots, like, wow, they're just Discord bots. They'll uh, they'll input all that information into a database, so the person who hacks your account, who's like running it, will have your password and email. Like, that's common sense. It will all be stored somewhere um, when you click on that link. So yeah, all his other. St- Stuff would be gone as well, probably, if you use the same password for everything. Yeah, and it, it, it depends, though. Yeah. It's, I'd say. It's sus, man. The whole situation was sus. It is, indeed. I don't know, has, has, has there ever been another, any other drama you've had with any other people besides the people you've already said? Uh, with you, what, Will? Or no? I, yeah, I had a bit story. of drama with uh, Hypnotic at one point. Because they re-uploaded my mod three times after I accidentally blacklisted it from them. How'd you accidentally blacklisted them? 
So there was this random server, right? They were being toxic to me using my drug mod. So I blacklisted it from them. But I didn't know how the hell the blacklist thing worked on the workshop. So I ended up blacklisting everyone, including myself. But the thing is, the reason I had so much resentment from him is because he was being toxic to me and re-uploaded it. I'd like to point out the fact that my first DMs with Rageless were me asking him to unblacklist a mod, which he blacklisted from everyone as well. The exact same scenario. And I didn't go straight ahead, re-upload his mod, be toxic to him, no. I went politely to him and asked him uh, whether he'll be able to unblacklist, and he gave me permission to re-upload it temporarily. So that's the reason I was irritated with him, was because we both had the exact same scenario with each other. But instead of asking me, he was just absolutely toxic and then re-uploaded it. And then I managed to be able to take it down three times until uh, Nelson ended up banning their server. Dang. So, yeah. It was only for seven days. But we're chill now. <laughs> I'm fine with Rageless now. So. But he deserved it. He was irritating. But he, he is a cool guy. I like Rageless. I, I don't hate Hypnotic. The map's a bit interesting, but I, I think Rageless is a good owner. Asenith, he's not a bad dev. I, I think they're both nice people now. But I had a bit of controversy with them in the past, but I don't really care anymore about it. I see. Do you think, well, how long will you be in the Hunter community for? So I, I've been here for three net years now. And like, I mean, I think I've achieved like most of the stuff that I really want to achieve. Like all I ever really wanted in Unturned was a popular server. And I mean, I, I did achieve that at one point. My server's not as popular as it used to be. For, by no means. Like, I, Unturned, uh, I don't know why it's not, like, I, like, stuttering. Sorry, give me a sec. Um, no, hurry up. My my server's nowhere near uh, how popular it used to be. Like, it hits maybe, like, a 20 average, just because I haven't wiped in, like, 20 days either, so that's that's one reason. But, like, it's just not as popular as it used to be. Like, we used to hit 70 every day, 92 max, 98 max even. And, like, that was in, like, January. And we, we have the new stuff. Is in, like, we, we have a completely new, like, printer plugin that's fully custom. But, I mean, we have updates coming. Uh, I, I think we, we are doing as much as we can to keep it alive. But in terms of how long I'll stay in the Untown community, I, I think I can see myself staying here for a bit longer but recently i've been trying to transition into minecraft content um <sighs> and i mean i i used to do minecraft content in the past that's that's what grew most of my um twitch audience uh and i was see while, while i like doing content i i've mostly been like the behind the scenes guy who like helps youtubers streamers like stuff like that i set up the servers i set up the events and stuff like that I wasn't really the one actually streaming it and stuff. But I feel like I want to do more of that, which is one of the reasons I left uh, Pino's Rust Turned. It's because it's too much effort, and I want to focus more on my content. So in terms of staying in a turned community, I, I'm going to stay for as long as this content, I'd say. Oh, I feel man. at one I'm point scared. in time, <laughs> oh, at one point in time, Unturned, there's not going to be much else for me to do. And with my budget running lower after I... I Every single penny that I make in Unturned, like off your Dark RP, I've spent getting other servers off the ground, like Unturned Strike with the $500 tournament and developing my Red Dead server, everything like that. I put all my money into like developing my servers and making new concepts, reinventing concepts. And that's really what I've been trying to do uh, in the past year or so, is reinventing concepts, but with a the budget I'm working with now is a lot harder to do that. Well, my budget is nowhere near zero. No one It's I, I still have a healthy budget to work with each month. <laughs> yeah, at least five. At least at least seven dollar profit monthly. <laughs> at least seven. Have you we're, we're considered getting more money? I, I have considered that. I have indeed, yeah. Okay. Uh scamming twelve year olds. The thing no, is I, I, I will you, never I mean, stoop. Putting fake cells, you know. Classic. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I, I don't think I could ever stoop that low. I, I want to stay, like, making a pay-to-win oh, server. God. Like, you could argue that a server's pay-to-win, any server. But, like, a server can't be pay-to-win when there's no goal. That, like, you can pay to have an advantage, maybe. But I, I don't think I'd ever really 
Uh, I would argue if there is no like if there is no set goal, then the goal will automatically default to dominate everybody in your path. Then what's the, so yeah, technically, yeah, exactly. yes, yeah, could still be pay to win if you consider winning. Just I'd agree. That yeah. being the best. Yeah, the goal. Yeah, if the that's goal what you consider winning, yeah. Best. It's never. It's never anything else. Like there's there's a lot of things I think I want to make an unturned. But when I get the budget to do that, I will. Like, I, I've always wanted to reinvest what I make back into Unturned. Because I think that's that's one of the things that um, not many server owners do. Like, I, I'd say I have most server owners. I interact with my community the most, I'd say. Well, of course, in, in larger servers, I'm saying. Like, I, has anyone ever really met the server owners of any other server? I have. Many. They... Mm, but they're pretty. It depends. It, like, it depends on who they are. I think it, well, de it depends on who, the, what type of person they are. It, I'd say I it depends say, on who they are, how busy they are. Because yeah, a lot of them are like twenty with like jobs and stuff. So it's understandable why they can't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Twenty. With like jobs. they don't have. They physically don't have the time to. Yeah, that's that's most of them. I remember this reminds me of this one kid. I think I said this yesterday. Uh, there's this one kid I met. Uh, while well, playing this RP server, and basically what happened was that he was just pissed off that like basically the owner got this new developer onto the server, the, this RP server, and he basically became the like the new owner of the server, and everyone was That's so odd. mad at him. Everyone was so pissed, or like, we're so sick and tired of this shit. And then they all, we all, like the whole entire staff team splintered away, and this one kid named Galaxy Wolf. He literally made it an entirely new, like, RP servers. Yeah, like, I think he had, like, four to, like, six servers at one point. And wow. he was, like, he had, like, one of, the, one of the successful RP servers back in the day. And he just, just disappeared. Never to be shown again. I don't know what happened to that kid. I say, a lot of people think Untown servers are a lot easier to get off the ground than they are. I'd say, well... Udark RP did instantly grow. Like that that is a fact. If anyone asks that, yeah, that is a fact. Udark RP, second day, thirty players on. Like it was it was insane growth, which I'd never seen before. But that's because there was very little in that genre. While my server's nowhere near Dark RP, I'm trying to make it more like that. I am working on something right now, uh, with a UI dev to uh hopefully make it more like that. But who knows if it'll drive my entire community away by changing it or bring more people forward. It will honestly depend. Well, I think we've asked you basically everything you wanted to say. I don't know. Have you guys want to say anything else? Wait, wait, well, man. Yes. Um, so you're in the United Kingdom, right? That's where you reside. Correct. Yes, that's where I reside. I is, is, there a reason, is there a reason you chose that place? <laughs> uh that is where my parents birthed me so yeah your parents, your parents plural birth. birthed you not your mother yeah exactly both of my parents work together yep 100 percent. Really? exactly how it happened did you ever ask your wait wait okay this is an interesting one so i'm wait when did you start up your like up your like server like when, like what was like the earliest you start up your server like what age uh 12 did you ask your parents for money no, I had pocket money, and they didn't know I was spending every single pound I got every single month on my servers. I maybe had a maximum at that age of, like, 20 pounds in my bank account at some point. I was spending every single, like, e every single bit of money I ever got, I spent on Unturned. Everything. Of you hear that, servers. Nelson? You hear that? You have people like this. Like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I, I, I have no game, money. Please. We deserve it. Oh, that's really funny. So, like... Yeah, that's literally yeah. some Mr. So Beast type shit, I spent way dude. too much. <laughs> that's literally some Mr. Beast type yeah. shit. Literally, he said like... I, I had everything. no money from that age. I spent literally everything I had on Unturned. Like, so awesome. well, of course I'd buy some games every now and then when I had the money from, like, a birthday or Christmas. Like, hosting is not cheap. It's, like, £10 a month for a semi-decent host. And then keep on mind, you have to buy plugins, which are, like, £10, stuff like that. Like, it's not cheap to run servers. Like, I would not suggest running servers if you only have pocket money that you're depending on. It's such a bad idea. Because if you spend too much, you have to shut down your server. Yeah, but there's, you can also there's no way do about it. one other thing. 
that doesn't require you pain. What would that be? Steel. Steel? Steel. Yeah, Good steel. idea. Become the most infamous, like, robber just to put up unturned servers. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Try it, games. That doesn't bad. Uh, you probably could have just asked for somebody then, at that point. Wait, what, then, uh, what did we... What did, hmm? we we met someone before the podcast. I can't remember where, but yeah. Was, um. Oh, what was it? Um. It's a very cool place. Oh, the Figle Fart S and P. The Figle Fart S and P was a banger. Yeah. <laughs> when is it what coming back? Do you not remember? Bro, the Figle Fart S and P died in like two days. Yeah, it, yeah, it did. That's because Antics is running it, but thanks um, to us. <laughs> it's, exactly. funny, it's funny because I think every every SMP that's existed besides mine has, has people has had a bad experience. Wow! Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Dude, Silver had a whole video with it, bro. Silver was like, "This is the best experience of my life. This is the greatest. Like, I had so much fun. Like, like Silver had like an embellishment of my server on." Nice. <laughs> Dude, get, get out of here! I've never heard anyone talk about SMP so highly before. Okay, listen. That is a fact. No one does. You're the best. So I don't know. Nicola. Mainly, almost every S and P. This is just they like, don't do too well. Hey, that is exactly why people want you to host it. Okay, like. Yeah. It's, it's funny one, because Zeman says he one. hosted the S and P. It, it, it wasn't true. I, I hosted the S and P. Like he, he paid for the server. That's correct. He did pay for the server, but I was the person that got all the people that were involved in that server in the first place. I swear, if I let Zeman be the one that was the guy that was inviting people, it would have gone to shit so fast. Trust me, even even the people that he did invite, I was hesitant to even allow them to join. So yeah. when is it, so when is it coming? So back? yeah, when's yeah, it coming back, Charles? Now, now I get to answer this question: When is the un, the the SMP coming? You don't know what's called. So the, I don't even I don't even have the name for it. I just call it the SMP. Oh, SMP. It's, it's, it's so good. You can SMP. just call it the SMP, it's and everyone knows what you're talking about. Yeah, it's the SMP. Hey, yeah, come on, the... when's it coming back, bro? I want to play. When is it coming back? The S and P will come back the moment that Danby gets off his ass and actually makes his map. <laughs> nice, okay. bro. That's Buwak that's is that's gonna right. come out first. Put it up for Buwak. Buwak. Is gonna come out first. Eight by twelve <laughs> bed. Wah, wah. <laughs> oh yeah, four foot Eight six bed. bed. Four, four foot no, 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 four bed. six bed. Wah. It's because like all. It's because like uh, all. London people are short, right? No. <laughs> dude, he's gonna um, DM me when this video goes up, and he's gonna actually listen to this whole part, and be like, what do you mean by 8x12 bed? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I DM'd the toothy, asked him, what does 4 foot 6 bed mean? And, I, and he just said, what? <laughs> You are no, no. I can. No, and this no, guy does lore. And this guy does lore analysis, by the this way. This guy like, is come lore on. analysis. Is again <laughs> the bed. Lord. And he gets. And he gets to be the lore guy. You guys infuriate me. What a sick joke. You guys joke. actually infuriate me. What a, what a sick joke. What a sick this joke. Just tell me what it means. This is actually frustrating me. Oh my god, mate. No, 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 no. Calm, like, calm down, it's, mate. It's all right. No, I will not calm down. You guys, Stop you guys don't, like, you guys don't like, have like, the fallout for <laughs> uh, nerd rage. That's what I imagined in my head. Damn. <laughs> no. You're going to take that night? No, I'm not. <laughs> He's gone. Well, You're done, Chuck. You're uh, done. I think, I think we've asked you all the questions, right? Well, uh, Assassin, tried it. you guys... Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, I think so. It's good. Me it's good re-meeting you. Will will. It, it was good re-meeting you to uh, Trident re Games. You. Um. Well, this concludes this episode of the Unturned Podcast. Fucked up, Charlie. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Huh? Uh, I hope to uh, 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 see you on the next video. Uh huh. Uh -huh. You all will be probably surprised uh -huh. of who we brought uh -huh. on, and I uh -huh. swear to God. Oh, it's I want to add one last man. thing. Five hundred five has actually like ghosted me completely. I don't know what's wrong with them. It's it's funny you to me how. Face Punch Studios and Nelson oh. respond to me quicker yeah. than this company. I don't. This is how bad this company is. I don't know what what the deal is with them, but like they're just yeah. Um, there is no corners in Unturned on Xbox and PS4, bro. There are no corners. They don't exist. Yeah, they don't. Cut, Everything they is spherical. They cut the corners. Bro. They cut the corners. Oh my Except god! It's, on Elver. it's so painful. Except I, I can't even. You, you can hold the, the turret gun. The turret gun on Elver. You mean actually turret use the turret gun? What? Turret yeah. Gunner. When it first released, you could use the the turret gun. <laughs> Bro, I would well, yeah, be surprised if they, they make the pig cannon a gun. Yeah, like... I think the pig cannon was a like, pickable 
up object at one point. Oh my god. I, 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 don't, I don't know, know why anyone... I don't know how they do that. I don't even like, think it was a pickable up object. They think they just... They, like, something happened there. Well, this concludes this episode of the Intern Podcast. I've been your host, Kukui Charles, and, uh... Huh? Uh... Huh? Uh, huh? Goodbye! Huh? Bye! Huh? Bye! Huh? Bye. Huh? Thank you again for Will for joining huh? Bye-bye! Huh? Bye! Huh? Bye! Huh? Bye. Huh? Bye. Huh? Bye. Huh? Bye. Huh?